Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au. I'm a MailChimp partner and provide MailChimp training and consulting. In today's video, I'm going to go through how we can create a coupon code in WooCommerce and then use that coupon code in an email campaign we're going to send to people in MailChimp. The first thing we need, however, is to integrate WooCommerce, WordPress WooCommerce, with MailChimp itself. And that is very simple. And I've created a separate video for that, for integrating WooCommerce with MailChimp. But let's go across to WooCommerce itself. Because in WooCommerce, that's where we create the coupons. And then we can use those coupons in MailChimp for our marketing. The first thing we just need to make sure of, and I'm, I'm obviously in WordPress at the moment, is that under WooCommerce settings, we need to enable the use of coupons. So we'll just wait for the screen to load. And on the general tab, I'll just scroll down. And you must make sure that enable coupons is checked. So the enable the use of coupon codes is checked. So once we've done that under WooCommerce coupons, or under marketing coupons, I'll just go in there and we'll create a coupon. I'll just go and very quickly create a coupon. So I'll click add coupon and I just fill in the various bits. So let's generate a coupon code. I could obviously uh, create my own code, but just for this example, I'll generate a coupon code. We then need to go through the coupon data and fill in the various fields. So do I want a fixed cart discount? I'll just make this a percentage discount for now for this demonstration. And let's make this a 25% discount. I can enter an expiry date, whatever that might be. And we'll now just click publish. Publish means make live in WooCommerce itself so that people can use that coupon code. I've added that coupon code uh, you don't need to do this, but just to show that the integration is actually working, I'm just go, going to go, sorry, into WooCommerce, then MailChimp. And once that loads up, under Overview, we can now see that there's one coupon code um, and that has been synced across. So as I create that coupon code, it's very quickly transferred across. The data is very quickly transferred from WooCommerce to MailChimp itself. But let's go into MailChimp itself. Now, what I said earlier was that we want to create an email and include a coupon code. And I'll also include a product recommendation block. So let me start creating an email campaign to send. Uh, so for now, I will, I will just use uh, a, a basic layout from MailChimp just to demonstrate. So I'll go to create email. And I can call this anything I want to. Let me just call it WooCommerce for now. Just for example, click begin. And we now need to define who we're going to send this to. I'll click add recipients. And the audience, if you have multiple audiences, need to, need, sorry, to be the same audience that where WooCommerce is connected to MailChimp. So when you initially integrate uh, WooCommerce with MailChimp, it asks you which audience Mail should chimp, sorry, which audience WooCommerce should add the contacts to in MailChimp and the data to in MailChimp. So I'll select that, um, that audience. Okay, and then I can obviously segment, etc. But I'll just carry on, click save. Uh, who it's from, the subject line. Now on the, the content, I'm going to click edit design. And I now need to choose a layout or, or a theme or a past sent campaign. And just for this example, I'm going to use the one column basic, but you could use any of these. They're very good. I've got various other videos on how to create email campaigns and so on. So I'm not going to go into this with too, in too much depth, but for now I'll just change my logo. Um, I'll replace my logo and let's just choose that logo. I'm in my content studio and I have other videos about that too. And I'll click save and close. The trick here is that once you've integrated your e-commerce store, whatever e-commerce, big commerce, Shopify, so on, 
you will get various uh, e-commerce content blocks to use in your MailChimp marketing, such as product recommendation, product and promo code. So in this one, I'll show how we can add a product recommendation block and that promo code or coupon code we've just created. The product recommendation block is just so simple. So I'm just going to drag and drop it wherever I want it to appear. And then we've got various options, as you can see here. The first thing is, uh, if you have multiple stores connected, you'll be able to select which store you want the recommended products to come from. If you have enough sales and so on, enough customers and products, you can use the personalized recommendations, which I highly recommend. And that will look at the past history, etc., of of your customers on your WooCommerce store, and will will look at what products you have in your store and uh, recommend them um, in the email that's being sent. In this case, I'm just going to use my best sellers just for this example, but I could also do my new arrivals. Um, various other things, you know, you can set up here. What do you want to show? The title, the price, the button, etc. So I'll just click save and close. So that's very handy. If I use the product content block, I could choose a specific product to show one or, or more specific products to show in my email campaign that I'm sending. But I said that I also want to then include that coupon code uh, or promo code that I've just created. So I'll just drag and drop the promo code content block and I'll just drop it. And again, choose the store where this promo code is going to come from and you might just have one store connected. Uh, assuming you have, you know, it, it assumes that you've got multiple promo or, or, or coupon codes, we could just click the down arrow and there's the one we have actually just created a few minutes ago. So I'll click on that. We can change the various text and so on. You could come into style up the top change the background color, change the text color. There's various settings and so on, but I'll leave that for you to play with. But we click save and close. Uh, so assuming, or, or of course I'd keep going with my email or just delete what I don't want and so on. So when this sends, this will add in this case, if I click on here, I can see this is going to send my best sellers. The coupon code will be sent to the person. So what happens is the coupon code itself, the code won't be included in the price of the product when the person goes to your to your store online. So when they click view, they'll click uh, they'll view the product in your WooCommerce store on your website. But in the checkout, they will need to insert this coupon code, and then they'll get that discount. Just to show that it is working, I'll just preview. So I'll click preview to the top top of the screen enter preview mode and I'll en enable live merge tag info and you can see that my product information has now come through from my store the uh, coupon codes there and of course I would have added a bit more text like remember to add add your coupon code to you know save 30% or, or whatever the discount was but that's how simple it is so huge advantages once we've integrated our store we can use these extra content blocks the product content block uh, for specific products the product recommendation content block and even the coupon codes but remember with the coupon codes we set them up in in this case WooCommerce and it comes across into MailChimp itself but thank you for joining me my name is Gary from organicweb.com.au